In this lesson, we're going to look at some questions you might be asked about exponential functions. So here we have a, an exponential function going through 0, 1 and also going through 2, 16. We don't know what it is, but we want to find out what the value of a is, which is the base. So we don't need to think, is this y equals 3 to the power of x, 4 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x, what is it? So the technique to do this is to understand what you need to use in the question. Now we've been given a coordinate 216. We're not given that for nothing. We need to use it. So this is an x coordinate and this is a y coordinate. If we substitute these values in up here, then we've got a 16 here and a 2 up here. So 16 equals a squared. 16 here, 2 there. Then we can work out what a is. So what squared gives 16? 4. Or you can square root 16 to get the answer. Therefore, y is equal to 4 to the power of x. That's what that is. So an exponential function with a base of 4. Slightly hard to example. In this case, we've been given two coordinates, 0, 2 and 3, 9. So part of the graph y equals a to the power of x plus b is shown. So it's a more complicated function. It's got a plus b at the end of it. So we have to work out the values of a and b. Now, th the way to do this is a two-step part question. Always use this coordinate first. Use your x and your y values and substitute them in up here. So x in this coordinate is 0 and y is 2. So you substitute 2 in here and 0 up here. The reason to use this coordinate is because we always know what something to the power of 0 is. It's always 1. So you can always work out what this value at the end is. In this case it's going to be 1 because 1 plus 1 makes 2. If we put the 3 9 into this we'd have 9 equals a cubed plus b and we'd be no further forward because we couldn't work out what a cubed was. So always use this coordinate because you'll get a to the power of 0 and you can work out what that is. It's always 1. Now that we've got b is 1, we can use the other coordinate. So we know that b is 1 here and then we can put 3 as, in as your x up here and 9 in as your y. I suppose it's easier to look at down here. So the 1 goes in as your b. 3 goes in as your x, and 9 goes in as your, your y value from this coordinate here. So we've got an equation, we need to solve it. So subtract 1 from each side, we've got a cubed equals 8, and then cube root. So what times what times what makes 8? Well, it's 2. So this equation is y equals 2 to the power of x plus 1. 